let us look at superimposition. It is a technique applied to determine whether the skull is of that person in the picture. So you have a picture, you have a skull, this person is uh, dead now. So you want to identify if the skull belongs to that person. That's as simple as that. So what and all you will, uh, what are the, what is it? It's a technique applied to determine whether the skull is of that person in the picture. What are the types? You have types, you have photographic. You can use the photograph of that person, video, computer assisted. Okay, so there are three types here in uh, superimposition technique. So procedure, how will you do it? Photograph of the missing person is enlarged. Okay, and the natural size from presence of some standard things you will indicate okay there are very specific markings you will have on this photograph the ear the nose the etc so now what you will do you will prepare the negative from the photo from the photo you will prepare the negative you know those days when we used to go backwards right from negative will make photo now from photo they are making negative so basically you will scale it you know the scale to natural size you will bring it now you will take the skull so, the skull's negative is also prepared, okay. Then, appropriate magnification is achieved and you will try to align it. Maximum alignment, if it is possible, you will see. You will have to see what and all. Interpupillary distance, they should match, right. What they are saying is interpupillary distance will never change in a person irrespective of age. Interpupillary distance will never change interpupillary distance will never change oh i never knew that so that is what they are saying the negatives of both the photograph and the skull are going to be superimposed then you are going to use some markings like supra orbital margin eyebrow external auditory meatus orbit of eye nasal apertures dentition of lips all this you will try to super, um, you will try to superimpose okay then what you will do, the two superimposed negatives are photographed on bromide paper. Two negatives, now they have two negatives, right? Both of these superimposed negatives are photographed on bromide paper. So let's write that here. Now they'll take both these negatives, right? Both superimposed negatives are photographed together on bromide paper. Correct, no? The two superimposed negatives are photographed on bromide paper. Okay, then the resulting superimposed photograph brings out points of similarity or dissimilarity. Superimposition is correct if counters and size of skull accurately correspond to the face in photograph. So you will be able to decide whether it's the same person or not. Precautions. Some precautions mentioned here. Complete skull is required to obtain positive identification. We need the complete skull. So not looks like. Okay, complete skull. Well, evaluating anatomical consistency, special attention to be paid to the outline of facial tissue thickness. So, you should um, compensate all these facial tissue thickness at various anthropometric points, positional relationships between the skull and the face, eyebrow, supraorbital margin, eye to orbit, na nose to nasal aperture, lips to teeth and ear to external auditory meatus. Coincidence of dentition between skull and facial photograph could lead to positive identification. So you have to be careful about these specific bony landmarks and you can reach a positive identification. Okay, medical legal importance. Let us see medical legal importance of this. The procedure is helpful to ascertain whether the skull found belongs to the missing person in question or not. If it has more negative value, it can be stated that the skull and the photographs don't match. But if they match, then you can say it could be that person. There's always a possibility that uh, there can be a better match. Okay. 
So it is just a possibility. But I am sure that um, nowadays there are better techniques to handle all this kind of identification of bone bones. What do you say? Yes. Okay.